The Championship Match The Kings of Africa stood in the way of Zambia achieving the Africa Cup of Nations Championship. Zambia started the tournament with 40 to 1 odds and in the final game they would be 7 to 1 long shots to upset Ivory Coast. The star they would contend with, Didier Drogba. Any fan of English footy notes the deadly striker as the leader of Chelsea. Not only Drogba, but Yaya Toure, the Manchester City midfielder, and Gervinho, the Arsenal forward, combined with such a skilled and deep lineup. Something to know about a championship game. When two teams meet in a final championship game, it's more about the will of a team than the skill of a team. There is a famous quote, Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. The Zambian national team wanted this win more than anything. They had a reason to win more than just winning the championship. It was about the team that died in 1993. They were doing it for their fallen brothers. As they kicked off, it was a tentative start to the match. Both teams trying to control possession while not throwing too many men forward. In the second minute, Zambia took the first punch as they won a corner. Christopher Katongo met the ball with his feet at the near post. He flicked it into the danger area and it fell to Sinkala, who hits it hard and low, but Barry, the keeper, gets down to save it. Ivory Coast in the fourth minute would respond with an attack the other direction and a through ball played to Gervinho, defended well by Musonda and cleared out of the area, but upon further review, his left ankle curls up underneath his body in the tackle and Musonda tried to play on but the pain was too great. He was replaced by number 23, Nyambe Malenga. A chance for Zambia comes as Mayuka receives a chipped cross, but can't generate enough power in the header or accuracy to trouble the keeper. In the 23rd minute, Rainford Kalaba has a set piece outside the box, but he can't bend the right-footed shot around the wall. Danger comes for Zambia as a corner kick is batted around in their own box, but Zambia clears the area. Zambia gets even more pressure as Drogba controls in his box and back heels to Yaya Torre who powers his right boot just millimeters wide of the post. Zambia has had their chance on a corner where Ivory Coast left a Zambian player wide open on the back post but misses the ball completely. And at the halftime break, both teams go in scoreless. In the second half would come the defining moment of the African Cup of Nations in 2012. Gervinho dribbles into the heart of the Zambian defense and is brought down at the edge of the box. The ref blows his whistle. It's a penalty. Drogba, the captain, has his chance to put Zambia to bed and to strike fear in the hearts of their underdog story. The Chelsea star steps forward to face Kennedy Mwene. Drogba powers his right boot through the ball and it's over the bar. Keeper Kennedy Mwene does the John Cena, you can't see me. Drogba points down to the spot complaining about the field, but still he missed the shot. In this moment, Zambia senses something. They should be down 0-1, but they start to feel that maybe a supernatural power is on their side. Their dream to win the championship for the players who died 18 years ago is still very much alive. Belief is in the veins of each player and every Zambian soccer fan around the globe. Ivory Coast keep up the pressure laid into regulation. They are given a great chance but put it wide right. Zambia clinging to a nil-nil game but feel good not giving up a goal yet. As regulation is about to expire, Mayuka receives a floating ball over his shoulder but Ivory Coast clear it away before Mayuka has a chance to shoot. During the next two 15-minute periods for extra time, after 90 minutes of action, there's still 30 more minutes, but the chances that come don't produce the goals. It's time for penalty kicks. Ivory Coast would go first, giving Zambia the second position to know what to do. Tiote with Ivory Coast scores first. The captain for Zambia, Christopher Katongo, scores his penalty to stay level. Wilfred Bonney, who subbed in for Yaya Torre, steps up and scores his goal. Mayuka answers back. It's 2-2. Two two. Bamba steps forward for Ivory Coast. And the shot is saved by Mwene. But the referee ruled that Mwene came off his line. It's a re-kick for Bamba. 
And on the second attempt, he puts it in. Chansa scores for Zambia, keeping it at three apiece. Ivory Coast keep up the scoring, up four to three now. Felix Kotongo, the brother to Chris, steps forward and drills it over the arms of the keeper. It's four all. The keeper, Barry, is beside himself for missing that one. Now, it's Drogba's turn. Drogba steps forward. He has missed two penalties in Cup of Nations final matches. Drogba missed earlier in the match. And maybe that thought was still in his head. But Drogba converts from the spot. Then, keeper Mwene takes the fifth shot. He coolly steps up and scores from the spot. Tiene scores for Ivory Coast. And Sinkala scares Zambia and places it in the top right corner with very little room to spare. It's 6-6. Six to six. Conan scores for Ivory Coast. And Chishamba Lungu receives a pat on the back from Drogba, sarcastically wishing him luck. Lungu steps forward and converts. He does the, you can't see me, to goalkeeper Barry. 14 penalties taken, 14 scored, 7 aside. Kolo Torre takes a long run up, but easily saved by Mwene. Zambia can win it here. The Africa Cup of Nations is in their grasp. One goal will secure victory. The young man, Rainford Kalaba, who has been good this tournament, can seal it with this one. But Kalaba misses. Ivory Coast remain in it. And now, Arsenal forward, Gervinio, steps forward to put Ivory Coast in the driver's seat. Gervinio's lack of scoring put him in the ninth position on his team to take the penalty. Gervinio steps forward and misses. The penalty spot is clearly damaged from the cleats that have stepped on it repeatedly. And now, again, it is time for Zambia to secure the victory. Sunzu steps forward. The Zambian team praying that they would have their breakthrough and win the championship with this shot. Sunzu steps forward and scores. The Chipola Pola boys are the champions of Africa. They redeemed Libreville Gabon for the nation of Zambia. What once was a place of sorrow was replaced with their championship celebration. The 2012 Africa Cup of Nations run by Zambia is one of the best sports stories ever. This is Zambia's only major championship, for now at least. If you want to own a piece of Zambia, I have a limited quantity of Zambian soccer jerseys that are available for people in the continental United States. You can just email speaknyanja at gmail.com for more information. Thank you for watching this docuseries, and make sure to let me know what you think in the comments and any suggestions for future content. Make sure to give me a like and subscribe, because that really helps. Tizao nana!